Good morning. Yesterday, I shared with you on LinkedIn that my team has created a report on 24 countries and their national guidelines. And I had a brief look today, this morning, and uh, I wanted to share with you some highlights. So I'm sharing my screen now. Give me one second to open the file. So, um, by the way, after this video, I'm going to also share the link once again with you, just in case uh, you haven't uh, downloaded the report yet. So this is the guidance on management of clinical trials during the COVID-19. As you, most of you know, as most of you know, uh, the FDA and the European Medical Agency has submitted uh, um, additional guidelines on um, conducting clinical trials and supporting clinical trials while the pandemic. And what my team that did was going through the 24 different countries and even more, but we saw that in 24 different countries, there is also some differences um, that, that come like on a local basis. So we wanted to highlight these. So in this um, report, you can find all of them in one place. What I wanted to do now is to maybe mention to you um, some of the, the specifics when you look at this report. For example, something that I found very important is that, uh, let's have a look at Western Europe. Um, here uh, usually uh, is where, like in Europe, this is where there, most of the clinical trials are being conducted. And um, um, as you know, all of these countries are also following the regulations coming from the European Medical Agency. Uh, what what the specifics actually are, there are um, divided in two groups of specifics. First is COVID-19 clinical trials, they're, how they're being handled in the, in the countries locally. And then the second specifics comes with the, um, the supporting of the ongoing clinical trials. Um, and if you are to do, to do any changes, any amendments of your protocol or of the, uh, of the way you're treating um, and supporting patients, patients, what you should do. So for example, Austria, um, they, their guidelines, again, follow the, the general guidelines. What's specific here, though, is that um, they created um, the special guidelines for how you should contact their, their local authority, the Agency for Health and Food Safety. Um, for example, if you are contacting them in regards to COVID-19 clinical trials, you should make sure that you use the subject line that re they recommended. Why they're doing that is because they want to make sure that they will treat these emails and these messages with high priority. So please bear attention that they don't have a separate email address for information about COVID-19 clinical research, but they do have recommendations on their subject lines. A similar situation with Belgium and uh, like France. However, in some of these countries, you'll see that they have even created a separate email address when it comes to COVID-19 clinical trials. About ongoing trials, um, generally they, what they do is literally providing the freedom to the organizations um, doing the clinical trials to decide how they should change their, um, their way of working with patients in order to make sure that they are safe. Safety is priority, obviously. And so um, what like the, the main guidance here is around how do you submit these changes to the authorities and um, is there any new procedure or when you should do that. For example, uh, I think I, I saw it in Germany, um, you are supposed to submit these changes, for example, if you decide to do remote monitoring, not immediately, but maybe after the pandemic. Uh, so you can make like, you can amend some of the things um, in the way, uh, like, for example, patient visits, but then uh, you have to document everything, every step of the way. And then when the pandemic is over to just have one, uh, one general uh, substantial amendment directed to the authority. And um, uh, from the Western Europe, I saw only the UK with uh, some more specifics around how you should better treat patients during, uh, during the pandemic uh, and participants in clinical trials. So have a look at them. I hope you find them useful. And if you have any questions, just contact us back. You can send me a message or you can just straight uh, contact our team. We're happy to help. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.